like that. Flat. I just bring it up. Okay. And I'm like this, so it's super easy. Okay. So try that. Okay. 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 So whatever leg like, you want that, you can up first. Yeah, like that? Yes! And now bend this knee. Nice. Oh, nice. Straighten your leg. Okay. Nice. That's perfect right there. Just stay right there. Okay. Are you feel good? Yes. What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you liked that little blooper and me teaching my friend how to do a pinch out or a forearm stand with me to get a nice picture for Instagram. So the rest of this video is going to be us free flowing, but I'm going to be talking about how to find your free flow. So if you love yoga or you love movement and you just don't know what to do when you're at home, I'm going to be showing you, or both of us are going to be showing you just different variations of fun, fluid movements. So all that matters in yoga, I know that some Nazi yogis will fight with me about this, but all that matters is that you're linking your breath with your movement. Anything can be yoga. This is something I'm very, very passionate about. If you follow me, if you've followed me for a long time, you know that this is my passion. I love it. It makes me feel amazing and people might judge what I wear or because I'm in a bikini or I'm showing off my body, but you know what? Yoga has brought me self-love and this is what I want for each and every one of you. So starting off with that, that's just my message of the day for you. So let's get into it. Free flow, what does that mean? It means that you're linking your breath with your movement. So as you can see, neither of us planned anything that we're doing, we just decided to listen to our bodies. So that's the number one thing you have to do. You step your foot on the mat or on a hardwood floor or on a beach, and just do what feels good for you. Maybe have about three to five poses or postures that you know that you need to do that kind of helps you guide yourself and helps you get into your body and then you can just kind of go from there. So I love to do lots of inversions, lots of splits. I am the split and inversion queen. I'm always doing the splits. I'm always doing handstands, headstands. It's so much fun. And as you saw from the beginning of this video, I love to teach my friends how to do it as well. So my friend Valentina is practicing her pinchas. And as you can see, she's doing very good. She's going nice and slow, but it's kind of hard for her to do the different shapes that I do right away because she hasn't had too much practice. She just got into yoga. So have patience with yourself. Everyone starts somewhere. We are going to be practicing our duo pincha stand. It's such a good aesthetically pleasing pose to go with your friend um, back to back and do fun shapes with your legs. So this is just good ideas if you are a yogi or an aspiring yogi. If you want to do the partner stretches that I do with my friends, I always teach them how to do different little poses that look really pretty because I started on Instagram like a lot of others have as well. So Instagram used to be all about photos. Now it's all about reels. You have to do videos. It has to have subtitles, all that. But anyways, here we're practicing it again. And it's just super fun to add in if you're flowing with a friend at home. But even if you're by yourself, just to add in. And by doing these different little leg movements, that is the best yoga pose. It's the best chance for you to get out of your mind, out of your thoughts, out of your negativity if you have any, and into your body. It's really fun. You're breathing. You're getting a really good core workout and yeah, you're just getting stronger. But anyways, the next stretch that we're doing is my famous classic um, straddle stretch with my friend. Um, I do this like with every single person I bring on my channel, but it's just super fun and it feels good every time, no matter what. We're not just doing it for looks or for it looking pretty, but we're actually helping each other because we're pushing each other's legs further. So it's really fun to pull the partner 
but if you have the flexibility like the both of us it's a little bit awkward if you don't know that person very well because you're pulling so I like to just put their head on the ground and massage their back um, as I pull them forward um, <laughs> she was telling me that she's not as flexible as me but I'm like it's fine you're gonna get there so she's like let me do you um, <laughs> but anyways I I'm pretty much showing her different poses this whole entire video. Um, I love to do these. It's pretty weird feeling. It gets like that outer glue in like the inner thigh and like the hip flexor, but it's really fun to do with a partner um, to push each other's feet together so you don't slide. Last up, we are doing our Navasana with the straddle open. So pretty much you start in boat pose and then you extend your legs out. This one is like the queen of all poses. It's super hard and it looks good. It's fun. <laughs> I love to do it. I'm very surprised right now that it has already been seven minutes of me talking and ranting to you guys while me and my friend are free flowing. But I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, just as a little insight for those other creators or people who wonder, um, I wouldn't get paid if this video was just us doing yoga and had some music playing. You have to be teaching or talking of some sort to have some education in there in order for you to get full ads. So that's what I'm ending with on this video, you guys. Thanks for watching and make sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Let me know if you want to have more videos like this, very impromptu stretching and me going on and ranting so you can kind of get to know me a little bit better. Mwah! Bye!